What's the the one <laughs> the one line of pre-stream joke? The what was it? The there were two cats. The the one two cat and the undo cat. And uh No, what was it? Yeah, it was it was the one two three cat and the undo trois cat. And they both went into a swimming race and so who won? The one two three cat because the undo trois cat sank. That's that's a that's a pun I learned in high school. So I hope you all appreciate that one. <laughs> Pulling out of the recesses an old high school joke. <laughs> Alright, un de toi. I right, see what I did there. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the BNR stream today on this fine 18th of December 2023. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful uh, two weeks. I usually say one week, but we're doing two weeks because next week on Monday is Christmas Day and I ain't streaming on Christmas Day. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm not that dedicated. Uh, but yeah, no, this is this will be the final stream of the year because Christmas Day next week, it'll be the 1st of January when I come back. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I hope you all have a great Christmas time ahead of you. Uh, but instead of celebrating Christmas, um, oh, come on, come on, Super Radio Three, come on. Let's jump over to it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I hear it, but I don't see it. There it is. There it is. Uh, so we're playing Tomb Raider Three: The Last Artifact yet again. Uh, I would just like to bring up the. Uh, beginning of the level notes because I had that last stream and I thought oh it was a pretty good idea to do the <laughs> beginning of the level notes um, but yeah no I, I'm, I'm glad if you if you're having a great time or had a great year or whatever you know feel free to uh, <laughs> do I do I do like um, what's the term interaction bait it's like feel free to leave a comment of whatever you do i don't know some people care about like the analytics a lot i realized as well i'll have a general theme of this stream of not getting stuck it in too much into general hype and crazy things going on uh but let's get generally hyped about this the sleeping with the fishes level there's a brief clip of an underwater as you enter this level i hope you remember that from the last stream let me read out the blurb from the manual after crawling through the tunnel debris, Lara finds a secret entrance to an underwater laboratory. Her comp uh, sorry, her competition for the fifth artifact seems to be well financed. The underwater loading docks must be for some sort of clandestine operation. Is this a government installation or a private enterprise? Lara knows of only one person with that kind of money. Very, very ominous. So here we are. We we have a wonderful level called Sleeping with the Fishes, which is a cool underwater level. I actually, I do kind of like this one, even if, um, do I have a, do I have a harpoon? I do have a harpoon gun. I didn't have a harpoon gun on my, um, uh, on my test save. So I'm glad I've got that. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool little underwater, uh, base level. We've got lots of, uh, lots of bits all over. Bits of, like windows and you'll you'll see glimpses into um other kinds of areas uh like the other levels from this expansion i'm probably gonna miss a lot of big secrets and that's okay um i hope that uh, i'll encourage you as a viewer to play this game for yourself and explore this area more fully but um let's just say you know there's only six levels in this expansion this is level four uh, the last level is not particularly long so uh, I'm probably gonna spend a bit of time looking at the things that I think need looking at, at the very least. Um, but yeah, we've got this little water pen here. Um, but yeah, oh, and we've still got these dudes. Everyone's favorite armed enemies. Get out of here. Get back here. I'm definitely shooting at him. He's definitely up there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wander past him. How about that? Um but yeah, no, I, I really hope everyone's having uh had a great year so far. If you know bad things have happened to you, I hope twenty twenty four treats you better. And if good things happen to you, I hope twenty twenty four treats you even better than that. Um I feel like this year has been a very um uh I guess what's the term 
transitional year for me. Not in terms of... Oh, hello there. Not in terms of, like, I've really moved into something um, that great or that large. Um, or really that, you know, things have happened that have particularly changed my life. But it's more, um, I guess for me, uh, realizing a lot more of, like, the things that I... Uh, I, maybe I said this last year as well. My controller still does the thing, by the way. That was an example of it. Um, I cannot fully describe what's going on, so I think it actually might be the controller. I might have to ask for a replacement on this one uh, during the off time. Um, but yeah, I can't fully explain it. It seems to happen on multiple USB-C cables. Also, sometimes I go a whole day and I just don't notice it. I've been playing Grid Legends recently. The <laughs> I know, right? Blender playing a new game from 2022. It is a racing game, and it is Grid, and uh, like me talking about Dirt 5 a bit ago, of like, eh, it's kind of like a game I've already played. This one is also kind of a game I've already played. Uh, more so, because Grid always reuses levels, and there's not that many new levels in this one. But, I like the full motion video cutscenes. I think it gives it enough personality. We're gonna have to struggle with these guys if I didn't have the harpoon gun. Uh, also, if I can aim. I think it's even worth it. That, that took, what, six harpoons to take out that guy? It takes forever to reload as well. I think I took four. I think four is a more realistic number, but even then, it's like, man, okay. And you know full well that by the time, by the time I'm done with these chaps, there's just gonna be like, you know, more. So what's the point? Uh, I didn't recover all my air. I'm just gonna commit. I'm just gonna commit. Swim around this net. Oh, look at that air over here anyways. Uh, but yeah, this level is basically broken up. Uh, as, like, you know, there's bits where you swim, and there's bits where you're walking around on land. And, uh, you just move from section to section, and picking up lots of harpoon ammo while you're at it. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't have a lot to say about Grid Legends. I'm still working through that campaign, although I'm most of the way there. Uh, I did clearly spot the plot twist that they were doing. Um, I know, right, there's a plot. And there's a, it's not really a twist, it's actually, it's, it's not really a twist because it's like, ooh, it's more like a, oh no, oh. But they, uh, they were hinting at it so much, so it's just like, how much of a twist is it really? Um, maybe we have to swim up into here anyways. It looked like it's, it was the same area, but it's not, it's actually a different area. Um, we're in this area filled with, uh, what I can only describe as, uh, boxes, what does it say here? Park Zoology Zoology? I don't know. It's French. So if you move these boxes the right way, you can open this corridor behind. Um, did I play another game this week? I finished the Hot Wheels racing. I did fairly enjoy it. I did fairly enjoy the Hot Wheels racing. I'd give it a give it a decent go. The DLC adds in a bit of content, but I don't think it's exactly mandatory or anything. It's just more. Um, but I did find the Looney Tunes levels at the end were a bit, like, zany in terms of their layout. So I'm curious how uh, how insane the layouts actually would be with uh, more and more custom maps. I'll give it a bit of a, a bit more of a go, but... Yeah, I think in general you get the gist of it after a long, you know, a fair bit of time. You find most of the, the vehicles, and you're, you're doing pretty good in that one, so yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't have a lot to say about the, the Hot Wheels racing. I guess racing games in general is like, you know, once, you, once you've been there and done that, you're mostly set. Racing games are racing games, you, you, you get the idea pretty quickly. Um, so I think what I can only really say is more general sentiments, and then it's like, oh my gosh. And then, uh... Go from there. I haven't saved, by the way. How far have I gone without a save? Someone would have been worried. They're like, oh my gosh. So yeah. But uh, yeah, you'll constantly move into new areas in this level. So don't feel like you're missing anything. Unless you're going for a secret. In which case, you probably will be missing something. I don't know. But that's been the trend. Um, I love this like window to the outside world as well. 
Because you get to barely see the draw distance, but also... You can see a little... Little ship there. Uh... <laughs> showing off that crane. Sure. Uh, the key thing you need to spot is that there's two weird little panels here. Lara is saying nope, you can barely hear it under the music. Um, but yeah, no, we're, we're gonna look out for these things. I'm just gonna ignore these chaps, they're just gonna be all over the place. You can't really swim in here, even though it looked like it drew me in. You can't really swim that way. So we just gotta swim around, I guess. There's ledges all over the place, there's items on various bits. It'd be good to pick up a couple of rockets. You're going to find that you might want, you know, a couple. There's a little water pocket up here. Air pocket. I don't know what this is. Some kind of, like, a uh, escape pod or something up here. Uh, but up here we have one of the two. We have a name for it. Circuit bulb. And that goes into one of the two spots that we saw earlier. Uh, the other one is... I think specifically this way, but... That thing's just landing. Uh, the camera cut gets you very distracted and causes you to miss that there's a secret over here, which may be perhaps the only secret I know in the entire... Actually, it's not the only secret I know in the entire... Well, we can't see my totals, but... I'm pretty, pretty sure we got another secret before. Gosh, they're really chasing me out here, aren't they? We got a little little pocket here again. Bit more, bit more jazz, bit more stuff. So, but yeah. Uh, so with this this week, I wanted to talk about um, around. I wanted to talk around some YouTuber drama. Now, uh, I I make it a known, uh, just a known point um, that one of my biggest influences uh, way back in the day was a YouTuber, a Canadian, uh, something awful forum post, although I wasn't on something awful, I would see his Google video uploads, because this was back when Google video came out, uh, re-uploaded to YouTube, um, a guy called Proton John. Now, Proton John, uh, is only, like, he's not part of this, uh, this YouTuber drama, so no, no concern there, do not worry, uh, but he is tangentially related to a guy called Gerard the Completionist. Uh, now, the Completionist has been in a bit of hot water in the past few weeks, and especially in the past couple of days, uh, due to his response to... Oh my gosh. Cop and everything. I, I'm gonna go for air. I'm gonna go for air. Um, due to his response to some allegations on him. Now, usually allegations are uh, nebulous. I would generally say the the thing of, you know, please verify. Just because someone's making allegations doesn't mean that they're out for blood, and just because someone is getting allegations doesn't mean they are guilty. There's a certain balancing act we've got to play as the public on this one. Um, just, you know, hear them out, look into it if you can, and, uh, you know, we'll be all Gucci. Um, obviously as well, if something is wrong, and it's actually, you know, demonstrable, you know, own up to it, do better, and, uh, yeah, I mean, here's the second one, by the way, um, and, uh, hopefully it's not, like, you know, the damage is not too great. In this case, I would like to add, the damages probably aren't actually that, like, I mean, it, it, it is, it is monetarily a very significant thing, but, uh, can it be fixed? Oh, definitely, because it is a lot of money, uh, what the scenario is, is that the Completionist runs a charity event called Indiecade, I believe. I I never watch these events, and honestly, I don't- I only know of the Completionist, and I've watched a handful of episodes of his, but I've not, um, I've not really followed, like, the Completionist for a long time. I was a- a, a John Tron and a Pro Jared kind of guy, so, um, you know, controversy-free. And, <laughs> and, um... The... I know, right? What, what is it with normal boots? What is it with, like, everyone there and just constantly getting embroiled in, like, some bizarre, like, controversy? I don't... I don't think it's fair to rank them. I would definitely say, uh, they range from, um, okay to 
Ooh. But it's also just like, I don't know, these are, these are YouTuber celebrities. So. Like, I think if I had to decide what was going on, I would... How? What? what? No, I was like, I was like, what kind of sentence? Decide what's going. On? I don't know. The point is, the point is, is that um, the accusation is that uh, this indie live, indie event uh, was meant to be for charity, but not a single dollar has actually been donated uh, to charity. So people are accusing Gerard of, uh, at worst, sorry, at best mismanaging funds, and at worst. Uh, actually embezzling money for his own private purposes. I did not spot where the gate opened, so I'm just going to keep swimming around for a little bit. That's what I get for not paying full attention. Um, now, uh, I think this went on for a bit. There were a couple of people, including Pro Jared, who um, openly said these claims are bunk, and Gerard's a very, very nice guy. Uh, but ultimately, I think the facts did come out that, yes, this money hadn't really, really been donated it was just kind of chilling there it wasn't actually misused as much as it was just unused which is a bit unfortunate i guess when it is a charity and it's like dude like that could have resulted in you know some life-saving you know research uh, or something like that and that's not a great thing to withhold charity money like that now what's the reason uh we don't particularly know but i think yeah if i had to extrapolate a reason mismanagement just literally oh my gosh it was right next to the secret the whole time I love how I cannot see what I'm doing because I'm just there we go on to the next area oh my gosh that's how you can tell you go into the next area when you get swept away like that um, now to me the part that probably the, is why people are the most upset is the response. Now, I strongly believe, uh, and someone might call me a bit of a hypocrite on this one, but to be honest, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I don't know, we got a, we got a whole, whole other story on this, but um, I believe it's like, if you're, if you're really, really in the wrong, and this is like one where it's like, literally an action was meant to happen, I guess we are gonna have to go down the other way before we can open this door if something demonstrable has like happened and it's just like an objective thing like has the money been donated you know what i mean and not like someone's interpretation of like your character or something like that has the money been donated no you know just own up to it just say sorry yeah like i'm you know i'm just not great with this i'm sorry uh i'll try my best um it doesn't help with repeated lines of we are X charity's biggest donor um, because it sort of gives the impression that uh, you know you donated money. Oh my goodness, bro! I know I'm saving right as this guy chomps my neck, but he does have a grenade launcher. Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> I need this for the grenade launcher. This is not a secret, but oh, that's a secret. Okay. Oh, and they got a big health as well. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna have time to breathe. Oh my gosh, I'm really not gonna have time to breathe. I don't think it was worth it. I think I should probably just, just bail after grabbing the health. So grab the health, swim back now, and then we'll come back again. That guy is gonna ruin me, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, the, the response that was actually given of, like, you know, the, ac the accusations are wild. I've got several receipts, some of which are relevant, some of which are not relevant. You can't climb up here, by the way. It's a bit of a weird uh, spot. Um, yeah, it's a little weird, but I, I feel like, yeah, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, in response, he did find the money and then donate $600,000 to a charity, which is a lot of the money that um, this charity had earned. I think there's maybe, you know, some exact differences or maybe the article didn't report the exact number. They just said, you know, about 600,000. Um, that's fine. 
um, it's just, yeah, as long as, you know, what people donate money for ends up in the right places, you know, like, like, there's three things you don't mess with, like, other people's money, uh, other people's, like, relationships, and, uh, other people's property, or something like, I don't know, something like that, I don't know, <laughs> words to live by, I don't know, um, and generally, yeah, if, you, if someone entrusts you with their money to end up in a certain location, and you don't exactly, you know, make through with that, you know, that's, that's not a good, good thing. Is it a repairable thing? Oh, definitely, you know, like, you can rebuild that trust. At the end of the day, I'm, you know, I hope people can, you know, regain that trust back. Uh, although I would also then say, as a segue, um, don't idolize or put crazy faith into YouTubers or Twitch stars or really anyone, you know, like a lot of, a lot of people on these platforms, you know, myself included, are just regular old dudes. I vent an opinion, I play video games, and I don't expect really any more than that. Now, granted, I don't run a charity event, and I don't ask for any money at all. Like, none of it. It's, uh, it's, it's purely just like, you know, whatever, whatever ad money comes in, and, uh, I just, I have a job, so. <laughs> um, okay, we got two gates here. I'm trying to recall off the top of my head where we got those two things there. I think they're powered by the gates. I guess, yeah, I'm gonna back up to the, to the door, unless there was something on top, that gator guy is swimming around, no, we'll just go back up, we'll go back up. <sighs> There's probably a lever that I'm like 100% blind to, like it's just there and it's like, oh bro, how are you missing that, you're walking right past it constantly. It was like this while I was prepping as well, I was like, hmm, because I saw the door there. I'm looking around for a switch. I don't see it in this hallway. So unless it was like right next to me here or in the that guy is going to terrorize me. Um, Cause I don't think you can actually swim that far back now. Nah, not really. So I think it is just chilling around here. There's a switch on a wall. We'll find it. Um, but yeah, like, you know, just, yeah, as a viewer, you know, don't idolize your, your, you know, the people you stream. Uh, you can definitely aspire to the things that, or to the values that they, uh, you know, present. But yeah, just, just, you know, keep the, keep the person separate. There's a reason why, um, like, you know, I, I think a lot of people aspire to, like, fictional characters. And I think the nice thing about a fictional character is that... They're, they're written in an idealistic or at least uh, an intentional way. Whereas uh, people are always, you know, a bit messy. It's always a bit tricky to... Well, especially... I, I feel like it's especially for YouTube celebrities. Like, every, a lot of the long-standing ones. You know, it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's, it's very difficult for them to be a hundred I don't know it's weird isn't it like I I said yeah isn't that weird for like all the normal boots people to basically be like either like uh MIA or like involved in some kind of controversy whether whether some are justified or not you know up to you um I for one I'm still glad that you know the bits that I care about the most I, I although I do care about people's well-beings but it's like legit, it's like, you know, I watch John Trump for the content, I watch Pro Jarrah for the content, and, uh, they're still making content, so, um, you know, I appreciate that they're still doing what they do, uh, and perhaps someone might still appreciate that I still do what I do, and I greatly appreciate you for appreciating me on that one. Uh, I also appreciate still not being able to find quite where that lever is. We'll keep looking around. Otherwise, this is uh, what I like to call padding out the playtime. I had a hunch. It's it's like a lever or a button somewhere, but like you can't go that far back, and I don't see anything, and I really can't stay in one place because of that trap. I'm just gonna double take this corridor. 
but I'm pretty certain, yeah. And yeah, even though it sort of looks like there's more over there, I think that's not now. Well, maybe. Actually, yeah, I've got no keys as well, so just to add nothing there, but... Uh, okay, continue looking for that lever. It's, it has to be just somewhere in here. On a wall. Probably not on one of these columns. Corner makes me hopeful. Particularly the other corner, because you've got the the wall there. The metal part. Like I wandered over here and I didn't see anything. And I go down here and I don't see anything. I wander over here and I don't see anything, and hold on, I'm gonna get some air. Uh, but yeah, I, in the same way as well, like, I also don't want to say the drama YouTubers are exactly in the right or the wrong. Um, I feel like definitely, um, it's weird because in this case, it's like, oh, you know, like, they did reach out to Gerard for a call, and then he said some real, like, weird stuff, like, basically throwing Jontron and Jared under the bus a little bit. Just a little bit, because, uh, I don't know, well... I don't know the full terms of engagement, whether he knew it was recorded, or whether he's uh, exactly thinking straight, because, uh, hey, you know, if someone's accusing me of some dramatic stuff, I'm probably going to say some stuff that I'll regret as well. But, uh... But yeah, it's like, I, I don't know, like... Th there's a lot of weird... weird things he's saying. In terms of just, like, not as in, like... A call to his character. I'm gonna load a save, but again. Mm. Mm. I think I'm actually just blind. Because I didn't need to look up anything when I practice, but then. As I go through this now, I'm like, what on earth did I grab or pull in order to make this work? I didn't spot the secret back there before. Um. This weird little hideout nook. Nope. I mean, it'd be weird to have it on the rock wall. It'd be a little weird, but... I guess I could do this to slightly help. I'm just gonna, you know, cop the death. Ha! Huh. <laughs> do I know what I'm doing? Not really, apparently. Um, but yeah, I feel like YouTuber... Controversies, I don't know, they happen all over the place, and honestly, I don't think, you know, hey, if you don't follow any of these people I mentioned, don't, don't bother going out of your way to, to do it, but, um, well, sorry, sorry. <coughs> oh my god, sorry, not as in, like, not as in, uh, they're not worth watching, but more just, like, <coughs> oh my gosh, I breathed in some spit, you don't need to, um, uh, you know, get roped up into, YouTuber controversy, don't fight for anyone, don't do all this stuff, like, you know, I mean, maybe someone's like, oh, you know, but they're in a bad place, you gotta help them out, like, maybe, but yeah, like, you don't need to argue with, like, strangers on the internet about, like, a YouTuber, like, <laughs> like, really, it's like, hey, you know, just, if, if it's legit bad for the YouTuber, just, you know, they need to take a bit of time, just, just have a bit of a break, or get your mind off and into something else, or just something like that, but, yeah, I, I feel like, really just, like, a little bit of humility, and legit, this whole situation should be, like, blown over, it's just the moment, you know, Gerard can accept what's going on, that's just, you know, we're done, we're done skis, 
you know, people will maybe be a bit wiser as to like, you know, what they're looking out for when they just blindly donate money to the charity fund, even if it is but, you know, created and run by their favorite YouTuber. It's like, yes, but, you know, you gotta be careful. Don't, don't buy into the whole, ah, but it's for charity. It's cool. Because I know a lot of places do that, and I don't know if, uh, you know, is it a US thing? I don't remember it being as bad. Well, I don't watch a lot of, like, Australian-run streams, but it's like, I feel like the same principle applies of just, like, you know, you're giving them money, you got a vet. You know, where you're giving your money to, and that you're getting something valuable out of it. Again, I don't see anything up here. Am I just... actually blind? I swear, because... Please complain, because I've been wandering around the same bit for like 15 minutes now. I, I, I cannot fully explain what's going on, so... Um, yeah. I, I feel like let's not harbor too long on negative YouTuber controversy and instead harbor on the uh, the biggest death of the year, which is uh, E3. Um, that's not the biggest death of the year by far, but, uh, but definitely. Um, yeah, E3 is now formally, officially, it ain't coming back. They're done. They're cl closing up shop the, the, was it the ESA that runs it? Um, and, uh, and yeah, they're like, nah, we're done. Now, granted, you know, the writing's been on the wall in terms of, like, what on earth, you know, companies did at E3. Uh, Nintendo were one of the classic ones to just go, we'll have our own E3 with Blackjack and Hookers. And, um, they certainly took a little bit to get into it, but they also had their own, you know, bit of identity. And in some way, every other company has sort of just done... The same as Nintendo. So, props to Nintendo for pioneering this a little bit. Um, but uh, pretty much, yeah, just do your own digital stream. What's the point in getting journalists involved when literally all you're going to do is just show some games? Now, the journalists are on, you know, on a show floor and they're going to give their honest thoughts on a lot of things in person, which is usually how a lot of these. Um, you know, like, when people go like, oh, you know, why did we ever need E3? It's because of that. It's because back in the day when internet and video was not particularly dominant, and you had to do it through writing, and you had to basically have a journalist sit down and actually play a game. Oh, there goes the control for a moment. Um, then, uh, you know, that's the reason why E3 exists. But, as time went on, one, demos stopped really existing. A lot of games would just not really have demos anymore it's very weird um is it a time saving thing it could be uh, i'm looking this up by the way tomb raiders.net i still love your stellar guide but i swear like i i don't know how i wandered around here and got through this as part of my practice and then i'm just like wandering around going there must have been a, a lever somewhere uh what is this called? Sleeping with the fishes, third pool. Central pool room. No, the crane and submarine, that's not it. It'd be the fourth one. Fourth pool and laboratory. Okay, I'm looking at this. Uh... Actually, is this the one? No, this is not quite the one. We're not there yet. Hold on, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, this is the fourth pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Entrance, okay. Current, about halfway down the left is a room with a locked door. Draw pistols and... Oh. Really? Hmm. This might explain why I accidentally did this, but only if the, uh, the thing I just read is correct. Otherwise, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, now E3 has, has been home to a lot of fun memories. I think a lot of people remember, and I, I continually cite one million troops. Uh, I, there's a lot of like fun stuff. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's that's by the way what I was doing wrong. By the way, you had to alert the guard on the inside by making noise, which is why I was shooting into the void, and then uh, the guard would pop out. Listen, I'm gonna have to dock marks for level design because I think that's probably why I didn't remember what exactly I did to open that door last time because it literally just happened. And, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, press this button. We open the gate outside. Uh... More harpoons in case you need it. You're like, I'm pretty sure they've used this, like, underwater backing track for, like... It was definitely in the second game, and I think it was in the first game as well, but... Someone double double check me on that one. We've got two levers. Pull the first one, and it opens the left door, I believe? Yeah. And a little fishy comes out. A little fishy. Uh, pull the second one. And a little fishy comes out, again. We can walk down here and this is just casually a rocket launcher. This is 100% vital. You will be stuffed if you don't- well, you're not stuffed, but... You will greatly appreciate your time if you have a rocket launcher. Very important. Um... But yeah, I think, uh, E3... You know, E3 as... Specifically what it is... I don't think we should be shedding any tears, like, hard over, like, you know, E3 not existing. Especially when, given the state of, oh, you know, we, like, we're in a bit of a wonderful state where, uh, game distribution can be super easy. Games support lots of different platforms, like, we barely have exclusives anymore. Um, so, I like how you can jump out of that hole and come back in here. Into the right door for a hot second, and you'll find this, which you'll definitely need. It's a, uh... Mutant sample. Mutant sample. Like, there's a whole mutant in there. One whole mutant. Go into the other one, and we got another one. It's a bit cruel that you had to get two, given that this left door has the path to actually continue on with the level. Um. Here we go. Uh. But yeah, like, we, we live in a wonderful age where games can, you know, give you demos from the comfort of your couch, and it was highly evident during all the, you know, the COVID stuff, because it's just like, hey, yeah, like, we don't need E3 to announce all these games and have a good time, and that's, I guess, uh, you know, and if anything as well, you know, that's something we probably identified a lot of things with COVID, was, uh, what things can you do from the comfort of your couch, which is a lot of things. Movie theaters haven't fully recovered, um, uh, like, I personally work from home a lot, which is, like, super convenient for me, and it's like, yep, workplaces, uh, you know, can and sometimes can't benefit from that, I don't know, it depends on where you're working, I guess. Um, but just like, yeah, you know, lots of things change with that. Uh, I think E3 is certainly one where it's like, yeah, that, and also, uh, <laughs> you know, my, my, um, uh, disconnect with a lot of gaming journalists as well, it's like the stuff that they write is just like, oh, okay, like, they don't, and this would, this would absolutely, you know, be scathing if I said this, but like, this is not in critique of any particular game journalists, even though I have definitely got uh, certain opinions towards certain things certain journalists have definitely done, but in general, uh, one thing I find with game journalism is, what is the point of a review if I don't find any value in the thing that someone says because it doesn't or rather it you know a certain review doesn't reflect my experience as a, as a player uh when they write pre-release articles or uh they preview a game and they don't describe it in a way that exactly one excites me because if you're gonna at least do something <laughs> be be effective just marketing it's a little bit of a weird thing as well. It's like, oh, you know, they're just too marketing. That whole room on the left, by the way, was just for extra goodies, I guess. Uh, what you need to do in this room... Also, uh, I love... I think these are like mer people. They're like mutants, but they got scales. Um, we've got two different machines over here. If you remember from a previous level... 
Oh, you gotta put the right one in. You gotta put the right one in. Remember from a previous level, we had to interact with these machines. Actually, I guess literally the last level. <laughs> it's like that. Um. But, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like uh, a journalist needs to, you know, excite me, I guess. Like, I need to, one, keep caring about the journalism itself, and then two, if these companies are gonna, you know, provide them news and all this stuff, they gotta do a good job in the sort of boosting sales and boosting exposure. It used to be a necessary part of life, and now, I don't know, man, a lot of game companies, and as I mentioned, Nintendo, got out the middleman. We can just show off the game directly. So, putting both those mutagen, uh, mutant samples in floods this room, which allows us to grab Zahando. This is the Hand of Rathmore, the elusive fifth artifact. We can swim out of here. Dolphin. He's cute, I love him. This is not like the Orca as well. Oh, <laughs> sure. Thanks, Dolphin. But he is cute, I like him. This is not a Dolphin. You should probably be concerned about this guy. Swim out. I love the way this level ends, by the way. It's very cool. We swim up to the top. And it's just like, oh, you're outside. Hop up. And you can just take a leap. You're done. You're done once you're at this point. There we go. So now I would like to read out. Uh, we only have one uh, bit to write. It's a read now because they didn't write one for the last level. Uh, here we go. So. Lara has become well acquainted with the fifth artifact and its terrifying powers. The quest should end now, but there are too many unanswered questions. Who's behind all of this? What were they planning to do with the fifth artifact? Why were the mutated prisoners being shipped to a closed down French zoo? Were there further experiments being carried on at the zoo? Just what kind of power does this fifth artifact have? All would be, uh, all would doubtless become clear as Lara pulls herself ashore on a deserted French coast. So. Welcome to It's a Madhouse. Uh, this just takes place in a zoo, but uh, let's have a good save. Uh, oh my gosh, the save is on the first one. My brain's in, um, in a Shadow Man mode because I spent all this past week editing the video. It is done! It is rendered, it is yet to upload, because I'm going to upload it after the VOD for this one, but it will definitely be up by next week. As in, publish. Like, you'll see it, so. Um, it's definitely happening. Um, it's surprisingly, it's an hour and a half. I was, I was shocked that I had that much content. Um, this one's a weird one, because I'm pretty sure... It's just like this green corner, and you can for some odd reason interact with the floor. I don't know why, it's not very clear, but that- Like, you're literally stuck in this room, so you don't have too many options. This level is indeed a madhouse. Um, I get lots of, uh, Nightmare in Vegas vibes from the- the last level of the Tomb Raider 2, um, expansion. Um with this one. You'll see what I mean. Where it's just like, it's a bit labyrinthian and then there's some weird structures that you gotta climb. Um, but it's not as dense, I'd say. Tomb Raider 3 generally has this, uh, much more open and world buildy uh, kind of angle to most of its levels. Um, they have, uh, down here shotgun rounds. You're gonna need a shotgun for this level. There's, there's just no way of going about it. You're gonna use the shotgun. Everything takes the shotgun. For an abandoned French zoo, I think it's because they left all their shotgun ammo out here. Look at that, more of it. Oh my gosh, jeez. <laughs> Every time. It's a car. It's, it's a car, like, okay. Sure, cool. I don't think you even get to see the car. I think it just shows you that, yes, the edge of the, the zoo is there. Which means we must return to the other side of the zoo. One day I will play Pop Up Plays the Zoo on stream. One day. Uh, and obviously, what do we have in our zoo? We've got these uh, snow leopards. Aren't you sad that Mac OS X snow leopard was like, what, 15 years ago? 
Remember the glory days back when it was Mac OS X and not Mac OS. And it doesn't run like trash. I've not had a great experience with Mac, I'm sorry, so. Um, but yeah. Oh, also, uh, yeah, it's it's a madhouse. These, uh, these snow leopards are out for blood. Yours in particular. Oh, he's buggered off. Oh, he's come back. They only really take two shotgun blasts, so they're not that bad, but... Also, c'est le zoo. Yeah, ici. I think it's ici. Le voilà. You see what I did there with the Onduk Trois Cat Sank at the beginning? That was a that was a what we like to call um, uh, foreshadowing. <laughs> um, there's a lot of weird ledges that you can climb up, and then weird walls that you can sort of jump back down. We're going to find ourselves a key up here. Uh, this is um, the zoo key. Let's, let's go see into the zoo. Zoo. Uh, but yeah, I I feel like. I don't know exactly how journalism can stay alive in the uh, raw sense, but definitely in terms of the, hey, if you have someone who accurately describes the experiences that, um, you know, that I have, I'd be willing to listen to, re to your uh, reviews, yeah. If you've got, um, you know, pre-release material, talk about it kind of candidly, kind of earnestly. There's a lot of gaming journalists that unfortunately do lean into the pit full of, uh, I was going to say the pit trap. Anytime you hear me stutter, it's because I had two words in my head come at the same time, and I try to say them both. That's the only reason why I ever stutter. Um, but, uh, yeah, too many journalists fall into the pitfall of, uh... Is that a tautology? Fall into the pitfall? Um... Or, or, uh... Yeah... I think I'm hearing more... Tigers. Maybe they are actually tigers. Dude, still in the health. And he, and he did a roll. Very nice. I think the tiger's chilling there, so don't worry. But, uh... Danger! Wow, they even warn you about them. I think we gotta pull this lever. And now it opens the door at the far side, where we're into another maze. We, they've... They were like, yep. Almost every level has a maze. I like the setting. You also got these walls here that are not... Like... Sorry, they are solid walls. You can see through them. You can see that there is indeed a tiger right there, but... Jump up here and, uh... Pfft. Top level hedge maze. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, straightforward other than you just need to know where you're going. You brought your pal. Very nice. I'm I'm the zookeeper today. Walk down here, we've got this wonderful route that will lead down into that one bit where you saw the tigers before. And obviously, what did they leave in the tiger pit? That's right. Uh, literally nothing. Oh wait, no, they left their Uzis chilling in the tiger pit. Very fun, very cool. I realize we got a fall back. Honestly, I do not know what else you do with these weapons. Like, I mean, I know there's the Deagle somewhere, which I do like, but it's like the MP5. What do you use the MP5 against? Because we're fighting tigers. Remember, there's only one more level after this. I guess that's a general, you know, maybe rough part about around Tomb Raider is like... The game's definitely designed around the pistols, and as cool as all the other weapons are... You don't get a lot of love with them. It depends. It does depend on the game, though. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Blando rips on journalists, yet again. Um, but yeah. Uh, will E3 ever be back? It could. But I feel like we'll probably see it in different ways. Um, oh, you monkey jerk. He's taking the key again. Alright, I think if you chase him down, you can totally pop him. Did 
I get? I got him. Just straight up. Oh, he's doing a roll. He's trying to dodge. They're not that bad, though. One, one shot if you're close. Three shots, apparently, if you're like me and you try to shoot from too far away. I tried playing Battlefield 2 on the PS2 a bit ago. Um, there's a retro achievement set for the online multiplayer, which is a mega, you know, achievement just to, like, get that one working and then two trackable. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't track my, uh, my leveling up, so I might, uh, raise some questions there, um, just on, like, how, how have they wired up the, the, the checking. It's hard as well, because it's like, what do I do? Save state? Like, I don't quite know exactly how I'm gonna, like, convey that, yes, I did rank up. This was my first rank. Maybe I could manual unlock the rest, but... We got lots of lots of water down here. I'll tell you that. Can you tell there's water? Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I feel like E3 probably, you know, even though E3 is over, the spirit of announcing games and releasing s trailers and stuff is not dead at all. And I don't think we should really be too sad about just the name brand of E3 going away. When really, you know. We're in a new era of how games get announced, and uh, as uh, as an audience, perhaps we have to be a bit more astute as to what's what's out there. Um, but I think we're also in a time when generally people have a bit more budget towards video games. That's why the game consoles are a fair bit more expensive than they used to be. Um, there we go. We'll just climb back out, I guess. Um, the games are a fair bit more expensive than they used to be. Um, although someone would argue maybe they're cheaper. We don't have a rental market. How about, can I, can I just say that? Um, this is a very madhouse level. Let's hop down this ledge and not hop down that ledge. Um, when you're stuck, you climb on the ceiling. I didn't even have to climb on the ceiling in the last level. Climbing on the ceiling. Uh, 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 uh. You can see where this is about to go. Ugh. Oops. <laughs> well, I guess that worked out. Uh, it's actually like a little down. Oh my gosh, hi there. little walkway down here and then it's like oh there's spikes everywhere what he's putting spikes everywhere this is a very weird just kind of area as well just because you've got the jungle noises i guess they needed a, a way to i don't know though i i was gonna say they needed a way to make a jungle level work given the you know the difference in locale so it's like oh a zoo and i like the idea of a zoo but it's like you know, I don't think they're actually reusing a, a ton of art. I feel like there's a lot of original art as part of uh, this expansion, which is probably the biggest justification as to why it's a paid expansion and not just a free, you know, release with the gold version of the game. Uh huh, okay. I guess there's nothing hiding around where the spike traps are. <laughs> okay. Um. You can walk up here, realize that you are trapped inside the zoo. You are the exhibit, Lara Croft. And I think if you go up this way, there's a button? Yeah, or a lever, rather. Because we got the key. Meet your maker! <laughs> uh, yeah. Other than that, I don't have a lot to, to really say. Um, I don't- I love the Jean, Jean of Arc, like, posters all over the place. I don't really have a lot to say, I guess because it's the end of the year, um, things are going pretty chill. Um, I've sort of spoken a bit retrospectively about the whole year as well, but I just want to, yeah, re reiterate as well, for- for everyone who's, you know, well, one, particularly the people who are watching this, because you're the ones who are probably going to hear this right now, um, you know, real big thanks for- for sticking around, watching this kind of stuff, like, you know, it's 
fairly inconsequential, but I really hope uh, you at least get some, you know, fun insight out of it. If you think I'm crazy, then cool, you know, whatever. But um, no, I, I, I really do like just, you know, all the feedback everyone gives. Ooh, you aren't stealing my rockets. I'm taking this to the grave. <laughs> Hang on, this room looks familiar. It looks really familiar. <laughs> Did we really just wander around only for the door to just reopen this way again? We did. Nice. Very nice. Um, but yeah, no, real, real big props just anyone who sticks around and, and watches these, because I know, you know... Some people would say, oh, you know... You, I don't know, I, I did get someone who's, who's just like, Oh, the viewer count's so low, why do you keep doing it? I don't know, it's fun. I like just talking to myself. And playing a cool game. How cool is that? Uh, this is that room. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, I don't know, that's all fun. And anytime I get, like, any genuine, like, viewer feedback, legit, I've gotten the ones where it's like, someone's just like, you know, I really enjoyed this, or I found this one part funny. And I was like, that, that's like, more than, more than I'd ever want, you know? So, truly, bottom of my heart, appreciate it. It's great. Um, and as for personal accomplishments, I guess, like, well, I think... It's either 30 or it's 40. It, I think it's leaning into 40 games I've total played just in streams on this channel. Um, which seems like a ton, because I don't feel like... I mean, I guess I play relatively short games, because if the streams are either two or three hours, it's probably how it all works out. Um, there's a lot of one-offers in there, I've noticed as well, because a one-offer is easy. we got an aviary key. I want to see them birds. I hope I got chickens. Imagine seeing chickens in the zoo. I think I've seen more chickens at Disneyland than the zoo. Uh, that's right, our greatest enemies. The... The vulture that's stuck on the, on the wall. I'll help him out. I helped him. And then we got that jungle beat music. Uh, also, uh... I'm not going to jump down there, but uh, take my word for it, for some odd reason, it's piranha water. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you can see the piranhas. Why is there piranha water in the uh, aviary? I do not know. Why are there vultures in the aviary? Um, a little bit more understandable, but still kind of weird. And I guess I'm just going to drop most of the way down anyways. Uh, but yeah, what a... Oh. Okay, come okay, 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 get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Uh. I want that health, dang it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, legit, I am genuinely shocked that, you know, I've gone through so many games, and on top of that, like, I really appreciate as well, um, doesn't, you know, you play different games on your channel, so you always expect that. Your viewer count, or your, your your viewership rather, not the view count, because ultimately I think if there's one metric that I really care about, it's just total watch time. It's just as long as people are watching and feeling like there's something meaningful and valuable out of the stuff I randomly say, that stuff is cool. Um, I love this uh, above the, the canopy kind of sequence we got going on up here as well. It seems kind of weird. But trust me, this is actually where you're meant to go, because you can weirdly stand on these little tiny bits of leaves. Including, uh, that's not really a corner, is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that would have been, that, that could have been bad news bears. Um. But yeah, no, I, I feel like, um, yeah, if you find, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, if you need some motivation to, like, play through games, or really anything, um, you know, like, uh, just, just, just start, I don't know how to say it, but, like, I don't know, enjoy the media that, the, that you have, uh, play old media that you haven't, you know, you haven't learned about, or haven't, you know, experienced, 
Um, I feel like I should really push myself out of my comfort zone, but I sort of done that in some places. Like, Tomb Raider 3 was sort of a game that I didn't exactly desire to play through again, and I think it's just because I binged through a lot of Tomb Raiders before. It's not that it's a bad game, I actually do really like it on a replay through, and I actually liked how fairly consistent and annoying the, the platforming can get sometimes, but like, I enjoyed how consistent the, the level design was and how fairly well telegraphed it was and not just weirdly abstract. Um, it was, it was fairly, you know, it's really well done. Um, whereas like I had played Tomb Raider 1 and 2 quite a bunch of times before, so I had a lot more vivid memory. I, I realize as well, the error, the folly in my ways is that I need to do this, turn left a little bit, and then I'm going to do a... Nah, nah. Maybe it's a standing jump. Maybe you do it with a standing jump. It's a bit of a weird ledge, isn't it? Because you can't quite fully see where the boundaries are. You can definitely walk, you can definitely feel it out, but... Running. Running is a nah. Uh, but yeah, no, I truly appreciate... Yeah, everything that, you know, I experience. Um, even if it's like, you know... Like, some people don't... Oh, yeah, see what I mean? It's just like, oh, that's a jump? That's a ledge you can grab? I know, right? Also, I think there's actually a secret down there. I might have to redo that jump just to showcase that secret, because... You can stand up here, and you'll definitely see there's a... Uh, ammo up here, as well as an eagle that's about to nibble my neck off. Oh, where'd he go? I think he went in there, actually. There he is. <laughs> Can't believe the eagle doesn't have a health pack on him. What kind of eagle is he? Uh, I'm gonna hope that this drops me down to the ledge. There you go. All the fall damage, that's okay. Alright, because yeah, the, the bit that I wanted to get to was... Uh, if you jump down here, you can see that there's a ladder back here. As well as also a... Uh, oh no, actually. Just a ladder! We'll climb it. There we go, so... Um, so yeah, so that's why, you know, I feel like 2024 will be a very interesting year. Um, I guess, uh, what's what's the fun things... ...that have happened? I guess, yeah, because this is, what, my third year streaming? Going to the fourth year? We have a US presidential election cycle. What a, what a fun time for everyone involved. I get to opine on US politics? Wow! <laughs> I think I've actually- have I- I think I have mentioned some stuff with some US politics, but I think it's mostly been around, like, tech-related stuff. Um, dude, we are gonna be, like... I know I mentioned it in, like, a previous stream, but again, it's just like, we are gonna be in a very, very weird spot. Because, um... Like, the big, the big selling point right now, and, and I think we've seen it with, um, uh, Emerald Rapids. No! With Media Lake! They announced it. Uh, there's, like, neural processing units as part of, like, NPU- Oh. I am not dead. I'm not dead. We're good. Neural processing units. Like, so you got your CPU, your GPU. Your CPU is just general compute. Do they call it compute processing unit or just central processing unit? I think it's still central. Um, the graphics, uh, we almost had Tensor processing units, uh, but the problem is that Tensor, nah, people don't know what a Tensor is, Neural, that's what we want, because they're Neural Networks, even though Neural Networks are just based on Tensors, that's why the library's called TensorFlow. Either that or Google has a stranglehold on the name Tensor Processing Unit, and you can't do anything about it. Um... I keep hearing a bird somewhere, but I don't know where. There we go. So finally up here, we can now take the rafter down. If you drop down, you can save yourself. Well, you could probably do it on both ways. We got this Joan of Arc statue. As in, you probably know where we are based on me sneezing. 
every time. Every time. There are some things that are constant, and the sneezing is apparently one of them. I swear, I clean out my dust, and it's still, like, that bad. I get a very dusty room. Uh, so, okay, we got this wonderful hole, which Lara just goes, Ah, oh, yes, let me climb into. Uh, they made a very convenient kind of staircase for her as well. There's the secret of the ooze. There's a bit more ooze going on. Ooze is such a wonderful word, by the way. Can I can I just never stop saying the word ooze? Uh, but yeah, if you wander down far enough, the level just ends. I think... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's literally here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they really like their jump cuts, don't they? Uh, I think we've got a little bit that we can explore around here before I uh, deal with that. That holy moly lad. Um... Yeah, if you're wondering, um, this is indeed the same game. I did not just switch out the game for something else. This is... Oh, I love that you can see, like, that part over there. Not sure what I'm hearing up there, though. It could be the tiger. Could be a tiger from early in the level. Oh, I thought there was, like, a... Some... Some hidden goodie around here, but nah. Well, the hidden goodie is me jumping to my death. Uh, oh, phew, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's... <laughs> I'll speed run, speed run. <laughs> oh, was that bird under me? He was under me the whole time. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, I really hope, uh... You know, I, Christmas with the family, so, uh... Spend time, you know, chilling with them, catching up. Uh... Talking about lots of things. Uh, keeping the politics out of the Christmas dinner, because that always happens. Did you hear? The the Labour government did this. Yeah, but the Liberal government does that. It's always that. It's always that. It's like... It's like and it's weird, because in Australia we have more independence. But it's always just the government. I gotta do the jump scare again. <laughs> it's always that, so... Just remember, keep your keep your chats in jest. We're all good, so. Walk up to this lad, who is a lot shorter than Lara, by the way. Maybe she's wearing, like... He they're not even heel boots. I'm pretty sure this is pretty tight. Put the hand in his belly. And that's it. That's a done level. Welcome to reunion- Oh my gosh, hold on. Literally just jump- oh. Jumping forward was not enough. And now I gotta do this jump again, don't I? <sighs> I apologize, dear viewers. This is what we like to call padding. <laughs> I feel like... Because the last stream was like an hour 40 something, wasn't it? And this one's probably gonna be like, it's not that much longer, but... Mm, would have been cutting it kind of close, so the three hour... 10, 3 out of 30, because yeah, my, my like general cutoff is I try to aim for 2 hours. If I need to go a bit over 2 hours, which I definitely do quite often, that's fine. Uh, once I get into 3 hours, I start getting into like the, uh. And once we see it hitting 3 hours 30, which has happened twice, uh, I'm trying to fall asleep, because uh, I wake up at 6 in the morning, and uh, yeah, by that point it's midnight, so it's just like, yeah, you know, it's definitely a bit late. But right now, it's 9.30, which is not that bad. Although, uh, my, my playing ability seems like I'm half asleep anyways, so maybe there's a bit of that. I just gotta play a super intense game. Alright. I need to save before I put the hand in there, because I was just like, oh, I'll just... Walk back, and then I... Oh my gosh. Please yell at me. Please yell at me for how many times you're going to see me do this jump just over and over again. Because it takes like a solid minute to walk down here. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah. No, I have enjoyed this expansion, though. I have enjoyed it a fair bit. But it's definitely like... The more I play it, I'm like, yeah, it, 
it, it feels higher quality than the other Tomb Raider expansions by a little bit, but then it's like they didn't charge with the other ones. Should this one really have just been like, hey, you know, they just keep selling Tomb Raider 3 a bit better? Because, um, yeah, there's no more expansions for the other games. Uh, they rely on a level editor for Tomb Raider 5. Pop the hand in. I'm gonna save immediately. We're gonna save immediately. There we go. We're saving immediately. There we go. Thank you, every everyone. Well, at least I saved immediately, so... There we go. Now we got another boulder here. This is also not just any old boulder. That's the... That's the media. The meat eater. We got these wonderful glowing pathways. Uh, don't be fooled. It is not water. It is just, you know, like a fog effect. Uh, but yeah, if you need some last minute things, you know, like grenades, here you go. Are we in space? Um, arguably? I mean, I'm just literally right there, right in the pit in France. We haven't exactly gone anywhere that weird. Got the, the demonic music back. Uh, but yeah, this reunion, I mean, if you saw from that loading screen, take a guess who our villain is. Uh, there is no excerpt from the manual, by the way, for this level, so that's why I didn't read out anything. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's also like, yeah, you know, the... <laughs> Do you need anything for this level? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, so we got, uh, I guess one route up here that we can take. If you take a very nice jump, you don't even need to climb. This is like I'm going backwards. Uh, our drop would have been just here, I guess. I am curious, like, there's all these other ledges, and there's clearly got to be more to this level, right? Oh uh, no, there are no secrets. Oh, well that is a hot area though. Because, yeah, there's... There's not a lot to this level. We'll, we'll, we'll go about it a bit, but pretty much, um... Oh, that's probably where I climbed up. Okay. Mm, what's it actually? This, this kind of looked like the ledge. It's just everything else changed around me for some reason. Anyway, uh, we're, we're, we're apparently in the company of, uh, some holy molies going on here. Some people with, uh... What's the term? Loose heart syndrome? I guess this would be a perfect example for any other weapon. Actually, we'll just use the MP5 just for funsies. 600 ammo. Like, what on earth are you using this on? The tigers are too fast. They're just constantly giving me rockets, by the way. Just, just a hint. Just a hint. Like, they don't need... They don't take much, much grunt. Uh, I think he can wander down here. Oh, hi there. He didn't even hit that hard as well. I think he can wander down here, but... Mm, again... Oh, actually, we got this whole cold kind of ledge down here. Huh. Well, he did have health, so... Nice of him to lead me this way, if you will. I assume there's something down the other side as well. Ugh. You think maybe we could just jump back? I mean, that's that's just literally where it is. So, uh, I see it. I'm just I'm just worried if I step out, I'm just gonna touch the touch the poop. Like that? Almost. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's like a triangle hit detection or whether it's a... Uh, the full square. Probably just a triangle given what the texture is trying to indicate, but sure. Um, also, what's that? Oh, I thought I was seeing Uzi ammo on the floor. I'm going insane. I've been playing Tomb Raider for seven weeks straight. And, uh, yeah, you'll be pleased to know that, uh... I'll definitely be playing something fairly different next. Or, maybe not fairly different, but generally different. Um, we got the good old transparent platforms that you can barely see. 
They really like this mechanic, don't they? They also like these floating dudes. I, I think it's kind of cool and artsy. Look at these skulls on the on the texture. Someone worked hard on that. I like the, the lighting. The lighting is also cool. Just in general. This game has a very fun look. Um, okay. So once you climb about- oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. Ugh. Well, that's out there. Uh, but you're- you're kind of like- oh, okay. Is, uh, this chick's back. I feel like I should switch to the Uzis at this point. Even though literally just the pistols would do. Uh, she's gonna do her best to still do the same thing she always did, which is charging up a laser. But this time you got a lot more kind of platforms and things to probably dodge her from. Like if I'm just standing here, she can't do a thing to get through all those. So the strong ones aren't as effective as perhaps they used to be. Um, other than that, you're climbing up ledges that- oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm actually curious if you could grab that- you probably can grab that health. But, uh, other than that, I mean, it is kind of the same fight, which is, um... I guess it's not disappointing in the sense that no other expansion did a unique fight, but... Yeah. Also, hi there. <laughs> okay. We're already uh, pretty much at the top, so it's not like that long a climb. Um... Also, I like how in here it's just a lad. Hi there, a lad. How are you doing? Uh, sure. Pull the levers. We got these two doors open behind us. And, uh, they spin. Time to kill some natives! Are they natives? No, they're just like experiments who are just... have holes in their belly, I guess. But again, they don't have a lot of health, and they just kind of run at you. In, in the grand scheme of things, this is not the greatest threat in the world. I do like the sentry guys. Like, it's like brain dead. if anyone remembers the specific bit. It's like that. Why, yes. When the, when the Neuralink update kicks in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I timed that one so poorly. How long ago did I say it was right back at the previous one, wasn't it? Yep. This is what we like to call padding. How many times can I do that one? Alright, do it, do it just quicker. Do it better this time, you know? Do I even need the health? No, not really. I'm going so quick the music can't even keep up. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I've definitely enjoyed this, um, and I'm actually, like, to, to, um, like, what's the term? Underline? To, to leave as an important note, uh, for all, uh, you know, for, for people watching in the future, is that, yeah, in February, late February, I think, we do get this Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3, uh, remaster, remake, Reboot, it's, it's a, it's a, it, it looks like it is just a remaster in the sense of they are recreating the game and, uh, it's just gonna be the game. They're not doing any Tomb Raider Anniversary shenanigans, uh, although Tomb Raider Anniversary is definitely a great game. Which, perhaps one day, I will give a tour around and play, but, um... I mean, she's just chilling there, you know? Oh, 
Did I save on the way up again? I did. What else do I have? What? I must have got hit with a charge shot. Huh. Yeah, I must have actually gotten hit with a charge shot. Huh. It feels a lot simpler than the second time, doesn't it? I have completely killed the pacing by like constantly dying, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's not get hit by this thing. Easy. Wow. Alright, climb up this last bit. Oh. <laughs> was, there, was there a lever I had to pull or...? Yes, there was a little tiny lever right next to the door. They could have just had it open, but nope. You gotta make me pull a lever. Um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of interesting playing the, the next game if I, you know, if and when I want to get around to it. I don't necessarily have a, I want to play through all three, uh, or, you know, a Tomb Raider every year. Um, although, to be honest, I'd never get around to some of the newer ones in that case. Um, I've still not played Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Maybe I should do that at some point next year. Alright, uh... Get ready for the finale moment of the game, where we need to not get killed by this charged laser. And instead, we're gonna pull out the big guns. Literally. They've been feeding me so many rockets. Like, eight rockets seems like maybe not a, not a ton. Trust me. Oh, excuse me. That was a charge shot. I shot you down from your charge shot. <sighs> she doesn't believe in charge shots. Can't believe it. So, I, I also have a plentiful grenade launcher, but I was hoping the rockets. Alright, we'll just, just keep going. Let's get her. Oh, I killed her immediately with that one. Wow. Can you do that? Can you, oh, because she technically doesn't have the artifact. Oh. Oh. I mean, I, you can you can still kill her afterwards. It's just a surprise, because I was like, didn't I shoot her with like four rockets last time? And then, uh, this time she just took the one. Okay. It's the same boss fight. She dies in the same way as well. Except this time, I guess you actually do kill her. Um... We got lots of ledges around, but pretty much it's just like, well, there's health there, and there's uh, this weird magical door back there, and all this stuff. Anyway, let's uh, chill next to this fella. Hi there, how you doing? Let's grab this thing again. The door behind us opens up, revealing one last getaway for us. Slide down this passageway. Drop down this pit. Into the water. Uh, we just swim out. And, uh, sort of still in space, because uh, I guess I'd have to change the skybox. Uh, but hop out, and this hot air balloon comes down to greet us. Who is that on that hot air balloon? Who knows? But, uh, run towards it, and the game just goes, Yep, you did it, cool, thanks, see ya. <laughs> Featuring the same credits with the same butt shot, and that same eventual picture of Lara wearing nothing but a... a towel or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, I did like this, uh, this expansion a bit. Um, definitely the levels are... Probably the secrets are a bit more esoteric. There's a lot more just large hidden side parts of the levels. Uh, and for six levels, I mean, it was a little quicker than the other, than the rest of the game. Uh, but, I don't know, I think it's pretty alright. There's a lot of variety in the, in the locales, and it doesn't feel like there's any, like, real trash levels. Whereas, I, I don't know, I think a lot of people think the Nightmare in Vegas levels are like, yeah, nah. 
it's a bit messy all around so but yeah no that is tomb raider 3 the last artifact uh i found four secrets wow i'm doing better i guess and i used four health packs because there's not much to really get health packed by uh but yeah that's it that's tomb raider the last artifact uh so yeah with that uh, i am done for the year i'm not streaming next week but if you're on youtube uh hold on i can i can even do the whoosh thank you so very much for watching uh yeah if you if you enjoyed this you can follow me on twitch if you miss parts of this you can see the vod on youtube i'm not streaming next week so don't think i'm streaming on christmas day but there will be a youtube vod that i'm not streaming because it's already pre-recorded and it's going to be uploaded just directly to youtube so if you're on twitch and you don't realize i upload stuff to youtube check that out because uh, there will be something there um, will I necessarily have stuff exclusive for Twitch people? I guess the beginnings of streams? I don't know. I'll, I'll try and find something. Um, I didn't even mention Twitch, uh, allowing artistic nudity. Or then backtracking on that. I didn't talk about that. I don't think I have to talk about that. It comes as it, it comes as it is. Um, but yeah, no, if you, if you enjoyed this, um, yeah, just, I hope you, I hope you did enjoy this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do afterwards. If you enjoyed this, I hope you have a, a great Christmas, a great um, New Year coming up, and uh, I'll be I'll be back in 2024 to ring in the New Year, to see what on earth is happening, who's getting older, who's uh, getting younger all of a sudden. I don't know, weird stuff like that. So, have a great break, everyone. See ya. Peace.